Hello. Today we'll discuss about conjugation and resonance. Conjugation means when an unsaturated compound is present and it is separated by a single bond with another unsaturated one. Like this you can take this is unsaturated one or you can take some plus charge type here or you can take some minus charge type here or you can take one electron here or you can take two electrons so this is like a lone pair if any of these as we were discussing one electron or positive charge or negative charge or multiple bond or two electrons which are separated from an unsaturated system by a single bond then you can call these kind of compounds as conjugated compounds and this property as conjugation so we'll see some types of conjugation the first one is pi pi conjugation look at this compound now this electron pair is coming here this electron pair is shifting here double bond single bond double bond two double bonds are separated by a single bond so this is like a conjugation and when you are showing like this show with an arrow both say this is like resonance this bond is shifted here now you see how this structure is written first two there is a double bond now it is become like a single bond the bond is shifted here it is coming here so this carbon atom has lost its electron so it will be getting plus charge when this multiple bond pi bond is shifted onto this one this carbon is getting negative charge see the first one this molecule is more stable when you compare with this molecule the reason is very interesting look at this first carbon this carbon is having plus charge when this carbon is having plus charge it is not having octet configuration so any one of the atom not having octet configuration is less stable so this is less stable and this is going to be more stable because in this structure all carbon atoms are having octet configuration look at one another type of example um, c double bond c and this carbon is having one electron this is like pi and odd electron system this you can show c double bond c one electron is here its resonance structure is c and this is having odd electron so you can show like this one electron from here is coming here this with this electron it is forming a bond and this is one. both these are having similar structure so both these are equally stable so this type is called pi electron and odd electron pi bond and odd electron type of system one more type is pi lone pair pi lone pair means look at this molecule c double bond c this is chlorine chlorine is having three electron pairs the electron pair is coming here and this is shifting here so the structure will be like this two electron pairs are as it is one electron pair is coming as double bond and this bond is shifted so this is negative charge chlorine's electron came here so chlorine is getting plus charge now if you see the first one in this all atoms are getting octet configuration already octet configuration is there for every atom here this is good in this case also every atom is having octet configuration this is also fine but the problem is the first one is without charges the second one is with charges so a neutral molecule is more stable than the charged one so the first one is more stable when you compare with the second one this is an example of pi bond and lone pair of electrons one more will take pi and positive charge for this the example is ch2 double bond ch ch2 plus allyl carbocation lactate this electron pair can shift here now ch2 ch double bond ch2 one electron pair shifted here so this atom is getting plus charge 
both are having similar structure both are equally stable double bond is there and plus charge is there so this is one type of pi electrons and positive charge pi positive charge type of conjugation see one more pi and negative charge combination pi and negative charge see this example ch2 double bond ch ch2 minus when this electron pair is coming here this will be ch2 single bond ch it has turned into double bond because the electron pair is shifted here it became like double bond and this electron pair is shifting onto the carbon so this is a negative charge you can see the first structure and second structure both are same just left to right right to left the remaining are same so these two are also equally stable so these are the five types we are discussing one is pi pi and there is pi odd electron one more is pi lone pair one another is pi positive charge and one is pi negative charge these are the types of conjugations in all these types of conjugations when you are writing the structures see that which one is stable because your questions will be generally based on that and remember one other thing for example if you are having a double bond which is separated by another double bond this is one possibility or for example odd electron a pair of electrons a positive charge or a negative charge if these are present along with a multiple bond then multiple bond only participate in resonance not these if both chances are there if you are a having a chance of taking a multiple bond as well as uh, a lone pair of electrons or positive or negative charge then take only multiple bond see one example i will show you this is nitrogen having three bonds and a pair of electrons now this multiple bond double bond this is single bond and this is double bond and this is a pair of electrons so this double bond is in conjugation with this pair of electrons and this pi bond this pair of electrons won't participate this only will participate this is in conjugation with this pi bond not with this one so whenever such kind of option is there try to be very careful and do it clearly then when you are writing resonance see how the important structures are resonance structures how they are important and what are the conditions to be noted so resonance conditions the first condition is octet all atoms must possess octet configurations if all atoms are in octet configuration that structure is perfectly good neutral if a molecule is having neutral configuration and another molecule is having some charge that charge may be positive charge or negative charge but neutral molecule will be stable neutral is stable when you compare with the charged ones neutral is stable condition is the neutral must contain all atoms octet octet is first then neutral and charges you see if charges are mandatory if you are having already charges charges are compulsory then more electronegative atom must have negative charge see that more electronegative atom contains negative charge and less electronegative atom should have positive charge see that two plus charges or two minus charges should not present on adjacent positions nearby positions adjacent positions 1 2 2 3 3 4 like the adjacent positions there must not be same charges same charges should not be there for example if you are writing like this plus and plus if it is coming like this this is worst okay if two positive charges are mandatory you have to get then try to keep them maximum distances but if positive and negative charges are there it's fine you can keep for example if it is like this plus and minus this is okay so when opposite charges are there you can keep them at 
uh, immediate position that is adjacent positions one two positions but not two similar charges this is one important point that is to be noted then valency must be carefully seen for example nitrogen nitrogen can form maximum four bonds only carbon can form maximum four bonds only oxygen can form maximum three bonds only we should not go for more than these number carbon should not have five bonds nitrogen should not have five bonds oxygen cannot have four bonds so this must be taken care and the most important point is when we are writing the structure the position of the atoms must not change for example if something is there like this these atoms must be at these positions only you should not change these positions for example we are taking acetone ch3c double bond och3 this is acetone and when you are writing another structure for this ch3 coh double bond ch2 if you are writing like this the position of atoms is not same one hydrogen from this place shifted to this one so when hydrogen is moving from one carbon to some other place then it cannot be called as resonance these structures are generally called as tautomeric forms this is tautomer so this is this one is the tautomer of this one or you say this one is the tautomer of this one but both are not uh, resonant structures in resonant structures the mandatory condition is it must have same position of atoms position of atoms must not change so take these all points into consideration then carefully uh, explain the following examples which one is more stable which one is less stable whether it is showing resonance or not i will e explain you some examples i will give you for every example 10 15 seconds of time you try to understand if you have any doubts you ask me i will explain you in detail so let's go with few examples for example this is the compound given to you what are the resonance structures for this if they are asking then how you write the resonance structures now this bond is coming here so this bond is moving here so what is the resonance structure of this it has come here this bond has come here and this bond is shifted here this bond when it is shifted here this carbon is losing the electrons so it is getting plus charge now if you see in this case two double bonds are there this is good in this case one plus charge is there look at this location this is like a carbocation carbocation means this is not having octet configuration so this is going to be less stable this is going to be more stable this is less stable of course both are resonance structures only we are not saying about that one but this is less stable look at this one r c plus double bond o two pair of electrons look at this example now if it participates in resonance this electron pair is coming here because of that r c triple bond o one electron pair is as it is but this is getting plus charge now in this compound plus charge is mandatory when plus charge is mandatory we are giving two structures possible for this but in one structure this is carbocation where carbon is not having octet configuration not octet here it is not possessing octet configuration but in this case all atoms are having octet configuration don't think about the positive charge in oxygen of course the positive charge in oxygen is not good but the prior condition is all atoms octet all atoms octet is completed here so this is more stable this is less stable this is more stable don't see the positive charges see about the octet configuration first this is one other example you can notice look at this molecule one two three so it is benzene attached with the nitrogen with a plus charge when the structure is given you can write a structure like this so it appears to be one double bond one double bond this electron pair is shifted here so here plus charge here double bond nh3 you can write like this but think about this area 
this nitrogen atom is having now five bonds three with hydrogen double bond nitrogen cannot form five bonds nitrogen maximum covalence is four only it cannot form five bonds that means the structure itself is wrong you cannot write like this this is wrong 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 so this compound cannot show any resonance only one structure is possible for this compound one other important point is resonance if you want to show all the atoms must be in same plane all the atoms must be in same plane they must be in planar structure same plane structure is mandatory if you see a benzene ring attached with a COH group now we can expect this electron pair is going here this oxygen is going here but actually this is not possible because this is in one plane the COH group will be in another plane they are not in same plane not in same plane due to steric effect they are not in same plane this will be in another plane so the electron conjugation with the benzene ring to the carbon group of carboxylic acid is not possible they are not in same plane remember they are not in same plane this is one other point to be noted look at this example here is a double bond here is sh thiol you see two electron pairs are there can it participate in resonance yes it can participate in resonance now you can see this is double bond sh with one plus charge and a pair of electrons as it is and this is having negative charge which one is stable obviously first one is stable both are having all octets but here no charges in the first case but here some charges are there charges one is less stable when you compare with the neutral one so this is definitely more stable one they can ask you questions like this ch3 or ch2 double bond ch ch2 plus how many structures are possible this can go here so one more structure you can write ch2 ch double bond ch2 so what you can say when one double bond is there when one conjugation point is there along with this plus one you can expect one more structure look at this example for example double bond double bond double bond and ch2 plus how many structures are possible it can come here once it can come it can come so total number of structures are how many are possible one original structure which is given to you plus one because of this another because of this one more because of this so total number of structures possible will be four so number of conjugation centers plus one original structure will be your total number of structures possible they can ask you by giving these kind of examples when benzene ring is there look at that structure one benzene ring contains actually three pi bonds because of each benzene ring there will be three resonant structures every time so if you are taking benzyl carbocation this is benzyl carbocation this is one original structure plus because of three pi bonds in this ring benzene ring it will be getting three more structures so total number of possible structures will be four if it is for example ch plus one more benzene ring is there as we were discussing this is one original structure plus because of this ring three because of this ring three total will be seven number of resonance structures more the number of resonance structures more will be the stability look at this one i am giving you one other one c plus charge one original structure because of this three because of this three because of this three total number of structures will be 10 10 number of structures will be there each benzene ring three so nine plus one overall one structure will be there that is total number of structures will be 10 more the number of structures possible more will be the stability they can ask you these kind of questions ch3 ch2 cl chlorine is having a lone pair of electrons is there any resonance possible this electron pair can come here no this is not possible because there is no conjugation for example let's consider this distance is x angstroms 
is this carbon chlorine distance in this saturated compound is if it is exchange compound. Look at this CH2 double bond CHCl. If this is the case, in this case, what happens? This will be coming here, this will be moving here. So, what is the structure possible for this? CH2 minus CH double bond Cl. Now, in this case, if this bond length is Y angstrom, this is now double bond. In the previous case, that was single bond only. Now, this is the double bond. As we know that a carbon carbon single bond, carbon carbon double bond like compounds, when you see whenever the more number of bonds are there, the bond length will be less. So, this is the bond length order. So, in the, in the previous case, what the examples we were discussing is X and Y. X was in alkane. Y was in alkene where resonance is possible here because of resonance double bond is possible that's why Y will be short one and X will be longer one Y is shorter one X is longer one so the bond length order if you see X is stronger than Y one other thing you can discuss here is about the structure like this for example have look at this one hco minus double bond oh plus charge otherwise you can show other structure h c o plus minus oh they can ask you by giving these two structures these are about the formic acid which is more stable you can see about the resonance, you can see about the octet configuration and all. In interesting thing is, in both the cases octet configuration is possible. But in the first case, oxygen is having plus charge. In the second case, carbon is having negative charge. Here oxygen negative charge, fine. Here carbon is with negative charge. When carbon is with negative charge, that is not so stable. Oxygen with negative charge, oxygen with plus charge. So, in this case, oxygen is having two lone pair of electrons here, but this oxygen and here carbon is having negative charge. When you compare with the carbon negative charge, oxygen negative charge is more important. You can uh, and see the difference. This is plus charge, this is plus charge. However, oxygen is having plus charge. The difference is coming with the negative charge. Carbon negative charge, oxygen negative charge. Oxygen negative charge is better because oxygen is more electronegative. See about the phenol structures. This is phenol OH. When oxygen's lone pair of electrons are participating in resonance, the structure will be like this. This is minus charge. This is double bond oxygen with a pair of electrons and a positive charge. Now, which is more stable of this? Obviously, the first one is more stable. Because no charges are there, here charges are there, when you compare with the charges, no charge is more stable one. So this is more stable. And if you go for another structure, that will be like this. In this structure, the bond will be having negative charge here, oxygen, hydrogen with a positive charge and a lone pair of electrons. Now, if you compare with this one, again the second one is much better than this one. Because here positive charge and negative charge are away from each other. Two same charges can be away. But opposite charges must be close. So because of this reason, this is more stable number one. This is second stable and this is going to be least stable. These kind of important points we have to understand, we have to discuss in resonance. So more number of questions and all you can discuss here. One important point we'll take up and we'll conclude the topic. That is what is plus R effect and what is minus R effect. Resonance effect or mesomeric effect. In this about this, we will discuss two lines. Plus R, R you say plus M. In broad sense, you can say plus R, plus M, both are same. Minus R, minus M is different. Plus R, plus M is different. For example, let's take benzene ring only. This is the double bond benzene ring. If it is having oxygen negative charge 
the electron pin is given to the benzene ring or see this one if it is having NH2 group having lone pair of electrons giving electrons to benzene ring so when the electrons are given to the benzene ring or when the electrons are given to the conjugated system that effect is called plus R effect or you say plus M effect you can take any example the condition is the benzene ring must be attached with a group which is having a lone pair of electrons a benzene ring must be attached with a group which is having lone pair of electrons the lone pair of electrons can come like this so this is the reason for plus R effect or you can say plus M effect now minus R or minus M effect minus R minus M effect we'll see for example benzene is attached with a group of N double bond O single bond O NO2 group this is taking the electrons this is coming here when it is happening like this the electrons are going out in the previous case electrons were given to the benzene ring now the electrons are going out of the benzene ring this kind of effect is called minus R effect so in simple sense you can say when C triple bond N is there when COOH is there when COCL is there when CHO group is there when O double C double bond O group is there whenever such kind of groups are there which are having multiple bonds COOH multiple bond is there COCL multiple bond is there C double bond O multiple bond is there C double bond OH multiple bond is there a multiple bond with more electronegative atom when a multiple bond is there with more electronegative atom all these groups will be working as minus R groups so plus R effect or minus R effect you can explain on the basis of this for example aniline plus R or minus R nitrogen is having lone pair of electrons so giving electrons so this is plus R effect having C double bond O group plus R or minus R this electrons accepting so this is minus R group if an atom is attached by multiple bond with more electronegative atom they are all minus R groups if the direct atom is having a pair of electrons more than one or one pair of electrons then all they are plus R groups plus R and minus R groups about their stabilities we will discuss few more lines before that we will take up one other line that is electromagnetic effect electromagnetic effect is a short one in couple of minutes we can discuss about this for example when a multiple bond is present this multiple bond can be given to any one of the atom in the presence of a reagent in the presence of reagent the shifting of multiple bond electrons pi bond electrons to any one of the atom is called electromagnetic effect E effect E effect is electromagnetic effect in this the electrons are moving to any one of the atoms only in the presence of the reagent see see double bond I am writing it is having partial positive charge this is having partial negative charge in the presence of some reagent the electron pair is shifted like this when it is going like this now complete charges are there plus charge and minus charge this is called electromagnetic effect if your reagent if it is reagent is removed if reagent is taken out then it is coming back to its original position partial positive charge partial negative charge so this effect is only when reagent is present that's why this effect is called temporary effect but complete charges are developed so this is a strong effect so here comparison generally taken with inductive effect inductive effect is permanent effect electromagnetic effect is temporary effect inductive effect is a weak effect but this is a strong effect electromagnetic effect is temporary but strong inductive effect is permanent but weak this is comparison have you looked at this carbon double bond carbon if H plus is added now the electron pair is going towards the H plus so now a bond is formed with the hydrogen and other carbon atom is getting plus charge if the pi bond electrons are going towards the reagent 
if the pi bonding electrons are going towards the reagent this is called plus e effect plus e effect means pi bonding electrons are moving towards the reagent now you see c double bond o in this case for example nucleophile we are using the nucleophile for example let's take cn minus is the nucleophile this electron pair is shifting like this this is coming here when this electron pair is coming here the structure will be carbon with the cyanide ion attached here oxygen will be having negative charge now when the negative charge group is attacking this effect is called a minus e effect plus e effect means positive charge attacks so electrophile when it attacks you can say that is plus e effect minus e effect means the nucleophile is going to attack nucleophile attacking means minus e effect plus e effect electrophile minus e effect nucleophile but this effect is strong but temporary right so in this class we were discussing about conjugation resonance and resonance effect as well as electrophilic effect we'll discuss few applications of resonance effect in next class till then